Elevation was the bull to start out things. I mean, not only did he help the, the organization financially, but he's the, he's the bull that I think is what started the pedigrees and Im improvement in the pedigrees and the, and the quality of the males and females down the road. He and Select Sires were born the same year, 1965. And he was born in Virginia, not too far from where I live now. And George Miller's cousin was his breeder. And he went to the Virginia uh, Artificial Breeding Co-op when he was a calf. And then when Virginia came into Select Sires in 1969, of course, all the bulls came, including Elevation. And we didn't know how good he was until about 1970. I spent nearly half of my first 22 years at Round Oak Farm, owned by my uncle and cousin, Ronald Holt. I milked, I milked Elevation's great, great granddams and suggested to Ronald the use of, of Osmondale Ivanhoe in the herd and to mate his Ivanhoe daughters to Tidy Burke Elevation. And this mating produced Elevation. He just was a bull that was uh, fit the market at the time. He was able to bring cows together that were milking well and doing well, but providing them better trace, better confirmation, uh, better legs and feet, udders and so on and so forth, that they could go on and be more profitable individuals. Elevation had gotten to be an old bull. He, had, uh, he was worldwide known and, and had accomplished great things, but but the time comes for every person or animal. And he uh, was back in his stall and he went down. And that's the way you, when they can't get up, it's time. So we had uh, gotten every, every veterinary consultant we knew how. I think we had the whole staff of Ohio State Vet School out here from one time or another, but he went down. And they told me that uh, we had to put him down, put him to sleep. So I went back there and looked at him, rubbed his head and left. And so I told him, I said, I'm leaving. I don't want to be around when he goes down, but I want you to get a backhoe and bury him out in front of this pond over here. And because we want him to stay and we're going to put up a tombstone and everything. And they, uh, they said, oh, you can't do that. Said the health department will come along and, and uh, you know, fine us or something. I said, you put him in that hole, cover him up, and if the health department wants to come out, they can dig him up and take him. But of course, they never came, and he's over there, and everybody that comes here likes to look at that place where he's buried. Recently, Holstein USA published data illustrating that Elevation still has more genes present in the Holstein breed than any other bull. But Elevation isn't the only influential Holstein bull to have filled the stalls at Select Sires. We've been very fortunate here at Select Sires to have had a lot of really good bulls. But there is a difference between a good bull and a great bull. And really a great bull is one that leaves his legacy for many generations and years to come. And it all started with obviously with a great bull like Elevation followed by Carlin M. Ivan O'Bell, Walkway Chief Mark, Glendor Linda Chief, Black Star, Bell Elton, Emery, Bellwood Marshall, Durham, Blitz, Oman, Planet, G.W. Atwood, Robust, and today's world, today's modern day elevation is mogul and soon to be super sire as our great, great bulls. Likewise, many Jersey bulls have made their mark at select sires. Highland Magic Duncan and Boomer Sooner both made names for themselves as did the next great Jersey Bull to join the Select Sires lineup. Next came a bull um, named Beretta that I acquired uh, in Idaho, and it was one of those where all the stars aligned. You, you, you hope you get a chance to have an, a cow family um, spotlighted within the, the national population, and the Jersey Convention happened to be in Idaho the year Beretta was born, and his mother was there, and she looked fabulous and everybody was gaga let's you know find out how we can get semen on this bull and they did and, and history's evolved from that because Breda went on to be the number one bull of the breed for 13 consecutive sire summaries which no bull's ever done ever and even ever since so he kind of again leapfrogged the breed to the next level and definitely put select sires in the spotlight having those three bulls 
in succession to basically be the, the leader within the Jersey breed versus for development in AI. Meanwhile, Roy Wallace had been developing the beef sire program at Select Sires and impacting the U.S. beef business. When I got here in late 1971, I was not the manager then, but Roy was, was already the beef program director, and he knew what he was doing with beef, and o over time, he got more and more respected by beef people all over the world, to tell you the truth. Uh, Roy Wallace was certainly a leader in uh, impacting uh, the way some of the indexes are calculated in the Angus Association now and was a true leader in the beef industry. The beef program at Select Sires has, has been very important to the beef industry ever since its inception. And as I think about the reasons that maybe the Select Sires beef program has elevated the uh, industry to the level that maybe it is today, uh, I think of a two or three things. One would be that in the early years, uh, we selected cattle, we selected bulls based on science, based on data, not on fads. And, and we were some of the early pioneers uh, in that. We also were the first AI company to recognize that there was value in cattle all the way from conception through the end product carcass merit. And so we focused a lot on the end product values and the values that that had to producers. It's, it's really neat to be able to work at a company that I can look back from a, from a child and watch the great things they accomplished. And Roy, along with others, got to select some of the early exotics that came from Europe. Uh, he made trips there, and some of those bulls were here, and they, they changed our beef business. These were the Simital, the Kianina, the Main Anju, the Limousine, breeds we'd never seen before. They changed our beef industry, and some of those bulls were here. While the bulls may have the spotlight, the production staff at Select Sires really deserves the credit for the care and collection processes they are committed to each day, customizing care for each individual. Elmer used to take care of the barn, uh, he still does, at Wells Road. We call it the Wells Wood Barn, and, and we would usually take some of the better bulls up there because it, was a, uh, it had a facility that they could have air conditioning and it, it would take not better care, but it was a little more reasonable if there were fewer animals. And so Elmer was one that uh, really took care, and, they, and these bulls were like their babies, you know, his babies. People think, well, we just have these bulls, and, you know, we take care of them, we lead them out, collect the semen, put them back in their stall, and forget about them. It doesn't work that way. The bulls are all, I'd say, have their own individual characteristics. We had um, a bull named Magnum. He didn't want anyone around him when he mounted, so we took a halter, tied him off in a little collection area, waited for him to mount the steer, then took a dead run up to him to collect him. We had another bull that his name was Charming, who he'd come in the collection area and he'd be all fine, and then he'd take off running with the rope and try to get away from you. So we had to work him in a smaller collection area so he couldn't get away from you. Uh, we had Moneymaker. Moneymaker was a shy bull, didn't want anybody to mount that was watching him. So we had to turn all the lights out, wait for him to mount, hide behind a wall, wait for him to mount, and then run in and collect him because he didn't want anyone to watch him mount. If you look at the situation, uh, our production team has got the best product on the market as far as uh, uh, getting cows pregnant is concerned. And, and the people in our research and production departments have done that. And then I don't think anybody's any better than our veterinary team that take care of the bulls and, and things like that. So. Uh, we, we uh, are pretty proud of this group. We were then and we still are. Full sires at Select Sires have certainly influenced the dairy and beef industries, but that influence stems from more than just great genetics. The quality control program at Select Sires and the innovations in fertility and reproduction have made a tremendous impact on dairy and beef herds, not only across this country, but also around the globe. Select Sires has the best fertility of any AI industry in the country, and uh, the reason being that we have quality control uh, programs that are in place. Uh, they have worked for 
a number of years and they are continually being tweaked and, and refined. So uh, it's uh, uh, one, of, one of the best fertility uh, programs in the country. We developed a quality control program so that we would put to, out into the field a high quality product so that we didn't have problems. We've seen drastic improvement in herds. I don't care what country you're going to, whether it's Saudi Arabia, Japan, uh, the countries I work in in Latin America like Uruguay or Argentina, Brazil, uh, the cow has changed drastically. Uh, the, the production capability has changed drastically and uh, we've just seen a, a tremendous improvement and that's why our sales are growing. It's because people want our product. It's highly fertile and they're seeing the results that we promised they get. Uh, of course on the horizon and, and now the forefront of everybody's uh, uh, tablet is uh, genomics and uh, we're jumping on board and using young sires, uh, genomic young sires, being able to predict traits uh, that these bulls have at such a young age is just, it's just overwhelming. We're five to six generations in the barn at one time, where in previous years, you would only have two and maybe three generations in the barn at one time. As a leader in the industry, Select Sires has been noted for its genetic offering. Uh, what I did find about Select Sires as a competitor was that they didn't come in with a calling card of low price. Uh, that's what many did when, when herd size got larger, was they come in first with low price, but Select Sires stood their ground. They, they priced genetics as the, the lead card going forward. Uh, they also provided superb service from top quality people. And so they were a tough competitor because they really did it right, I think, to, to, to be a real stalwart leader in the industry. As one of the industry leaders in artificial insemination, technology, fertility, and, and the list goes on, Dairyman thanks Select Sires for the respect that they give them um, in the industry by giving them products that are what they ask for and they can use every day. As innovations in reproduction continue to advance with technologies such as genomics, Select Sires will continue to forge the way in genetics and technologies for their customer owners.